Wait, what do you mean I can't join you? Guys can't throw or run fast. It will be unfair to the team you're on. Oh, that's not true. What are you going to do about it? Cry? Cry, baby! Let's go! I'm the Polanyans! That's so unfair! No, I'll show them! Enemy sp- You're dead! Ambush! Take cover! Hey! She's not even playing! Hmm. Fail! <laughs> One down, four to- <clears throat> The Polanyan fighter kills the next Roosevelt! You're the Roosevelt! The Roosevelt's are coming! Fall back! And from now on, every hit counts! Hey, you were dead! You can run- Get her! Attack! Polonia forever! Oh, hey, out! You are dead! Uh, I'm not! You are dead! You can just- uh... Ow! Hey! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Or tower? She's got reinforcements! Retreat! They cheated! I would have won! Hmm. <laughs> It looked like they had you pretty much pinned down. Come on, let's go back to the village. Papa will be waiting. Or you could finally teach me to shoot. You did promise. I said when you're older. I am older than I was when you promised me. And how else will I defend myself in the war? When the war breaks out, you'll keep your head down. I'll take care of you. And what if you're not around? Uncle Lech says everybody in Polania must learn to defend themselves. I'll always be there for you. Well, the boys did have me pinned down back there, and if it hadn't been snowballs, but... Oh, Anna, all right, but... Uh... I know, I know. Don't tell Papa. I'm going to regret this. There are deer in this forest. Let's be very quiet and try to find some. Uh-huh. All right then. Take the lead, General. New primary objective received. What? I was quiet. Deer are prey animals, so they are very attentive. We need a new strategy, General. <sighs> I'll hide in some bushes so they can't see me, and you'll drive them in my direction. Good plan. Just make sure you shoot the deer and not- Ugh, drat! Good hiding spot, but that was a terrible shot. I think something's wrong with this rifle. Look, when you pull the trigger, you can't wonder if you're going to hit. You already have to know. You see the target, you see how it moves, you feel when the time is right, and then... Venison for dinner. I understand, I think. This way. I... I hit it! Clean shot, butterfly! Papa will never believe me! He won't know anything about it. I shot the deer, remember? Oh, right. And what a shot it was! Your best so far! <laughs> Joker. Ugh, this is disgusting. That's part of it. We don't kill for fun. Yannick, do you, do you really think there will be war? Sure. And this time is going to be a big one. Saxony, Roosevelt, the Nordic Kingdoms, maybe even the Shogunate. The whole wide world. Will the soldiers come here too? To this dump? Why would they? <laughs> Shoot! Shoot! Yeah? That was pretty close. 
Yes. Thank you. Must have been hungry. Hey, Arthur! Take the beast! It will make a warm coat for Siberia. You're going to war? To Rosviet? Aye. Defending the motherland against Rosviet aggression. Wow. Pretty impressive, huh? Shmiawi. Latest model. They won't even know what hit them. So awesome! Come on, the village can't be far. Y you're looking for Zaleshe. I'm from there, I can take you there. Well, then hop on up, soldier. Head straight back, all right? And don't forget the roast! Head straight back, all right? And don't forget the roast. Ugh. Hello? But it's not your decision, Bjot. It's the boy's decision. If he wants to defend his motherland. It will be a bloodbath. You know what those machines are capable of. Every volunteer receives the best training and equipment. And who knows, maybe one day you will command one of these. He will not. I won't let my son die in another meaningless war. Meaningless? We are defending our homes, our freedom. What do you want your son to become? A patriot or a coward? Like me? We will all do our part to protect Polania. Will you? I don't think the war will be that bad. And Uncle Lech will look after me. No! Everyone will be home by Christmas, boy. This is not a game, Yannick. It's... It's the right decision. You are a man and a Polanyan. You should be proud to be both. Come, pack your things. Yannick! You're going to war? You heard him. Just for a few months. You're leaving me alone! No! Never. I... just want to protect you. The war is coming, whether we want it or not. Uncle Lech says the best chance we have is to strike fast and hard. We have to show the Rusviets and Saxonians that we won't put up with anything. We won't hide. But Papa says it's going to be a bloodbath. Papa is not a fighter. He would rather hide out here until the end of time and repair rusted farm equipment. He doesn't understand. Then... then I want to go with you. I'm doing this for you, Butterfly. Don't go. It's... only for a few months. <laughs> They said the war would be an adventure. Promising pride and honor. In the end, it would be five years. Years of torment and horror, like the world had never seen before. For the first time, the great nations of the world faced each other with weapons that could kill dozens, hundreds, with a single blow. The war is over now, but it cost the lives of millions. Among them, Yannick, my brother, who wanted to be back for Christmas, who had promised never to leave me.
But what can they hope to accomplish? What we all want. Expel Roosevelt from Polania. Without the backing of our military? Well, it looks like Uncle Leh is pretty successful so far. They say the Roosevelt military attaché is beside himself. The resistance is outnumbered ten to one. All they do is endanger the truce. And by God, we all need that. But why is there even a truce? What made Kaiser Friedrich and Tsar Nicholas agree to it? Why now? That is a good question indeed. Master Piotr! Master Piotr! In the village. Resistance fighters. They are asking for you. Uncle Lech? No, but they say it's urgent. Go to the lumber camp and tell them I'll be there soon. But I want to... Go! Now! And no visits to the damned bear! Don't worry. Hello? <laughs> There are Roosevelt's in the woods. What the hell is that? Are you lost? Roosevelt's that way. Shoot it! No! Be there soon. Can always use cover. Oh, look. A forest fairy. Elf. Fairies have wings. Roosevelt soldiers. I... They're looking for someone. Roosevelt? Here? There are resistance fighters in the village. We have to warn them. Stay here. We'll take care of this. Not a chance. Papa is in the village too, and I am the best shot. I'm coming with you. Secondary. Thanks. You saved our asses. Come on, let's get out of here. Hold on, what happened? Roosevelt soldiers. They arrived shortly after the rebels. They want someone named Dybowski, some professor. And my father? He's holed up with some others near the marketplace. We've got to help them. Are you crazy? They have mechs and heavy weapons! I'm coming with you. My brother and his family are still there. We're all coming with you. Oh, man! Shh! Anna! Papa! What are you doing here? You shouldn't have come. I... In the woods. I'm... I'm sorry. Papa? I have... I... Since none of you seem willing to give us Professor Dubovsky, we will take him ourselves! Tear the village apart! Find the professor! Not a sound, and stay right here. I'm going to lure them away, and I'll come right back when they are gone. What do they want? Why are they here? Stay here. No! You and Professor Dubovsky, here I am! Come and get me! Everyone gather around! Defend yourselves! Everything seems to be clear now. I can't believe a girl just saved their asses. You're with the rebels? What's going on? I wish I knew. We only delivered a letter from our leader to his brother Piotr. Then the Roosevelt's attacked. Piotr Kos is my father. What do they want from him? Your uncle Lech's niece? That explains a lot. You wanna come with us? We're trying to link back up with the group. Sorry, no. I have to find Papa. Shame. The Resistance needs people with balls. Good luck. That was close. What were those bastards doing here? They were looking for someone, but my father lured them away. I saw him destroy the bridge. I can barely believe it myself. So your father is responsible for all of this? Don't talk nonsense. We're wasting time. My father fled to the north. We have to help him. Do we? Do you really want to give up one of our own to the Roosevelt's? Come on! He's not one of us! We should help him either way. He has some explaining to do. Let's go then! They barricade!
barricaded themselves in the houses. They won't last long. Those mechs are destroying the buildings. Come on, we have to help them somehow. New primary objective received. Hurry! Anna, what, what are you doing? I, I know you told me to wait, but... Papa! Shh. It's okay. Shh. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Come, there are many wounded. We'll help them, and then we'll go west where they can't find us. What the hell did you do, Piot? Why were they looking for you? He just told them what they wanted to hear. He was saving the village. Then tell me! You're a hard man to find. See? This is exactly why we need access to the factory. That little toy of yours just broke state-of-the-art Prusia technology. Any chance you can get me one of those? I don't know how to get into the factory. I heard differently. You and your friend Steinmetz, you are the keys. Hmm, dramatic. We're done here. Take him. Yes, Colonel Zubov. She saved many of us. <laughs> After her father caused all of this, it was a liar. He was never one of us. Marius, Konrad, Antoni, they are all dead. We have to find my father. Haven't enough people died already? We are not doing anything. Leave! They went northeast, towards the railway. Thank you. They knew each other. And his mechanical arm? Why didn't he tell us he could do that? That's her! The hero who saved us in Zalesie! I... um... The townspeople don't see it that way. What are you talking about? A farm girl with a bear saved your asses? I'm looking for my father. He was kidnapped by, uh, Colonel Zuboff. She's Uncle Lex's niece. She organized the resistance of the villagers and prevented the worst. Hmm. Sorry, girl. But if your father is a prisoner of a Colonel Zubov, then they'll take him away, along with our people. Here. Here are we. And this is the train station, heavily guarded. They caught a lot of us yesterday. Those who are not at the station are held captive here or here. Once they're taken away, we never see them again. All right. Shall we? Shall we what? Free my father and your people before they're taken away. <laughs> you want to take on Zubov and his men? No, but I'll do it to save my father. She's got her uncle's courage. I'm not for sitting around either. Come on. 
New primary objective received. The base belongs to us. Hooray for Bolania! What took you so long? And who is that? I'm Anna. Anna the Great! Freedom fighter, sniper, bear rider! Oh, okay. Secondary objective complete. We thought we were done for this time. Not as long as we have Anna and Wojtek. Who? You think we could take the station now? This is all the firepower we've got. Maybe not. Do you have a map? They got us up here. We had to abandon our mechs there, so... If you want firepower... Maybe it's worth the detour. New secondary objective... The station is ours! Thanks for the rescue, boys, and... Um... Girl! My father! A man with a metal arm! Have you seen him? Roosevelt forces approaching from the north! Lots of them! They want the station back. We'll stop them! Prepare to defend this place! Men guns! Lay mines! Occupy defensive positions! Harry, we only have minutes! New primary objective suppressed! <laughs> it's not over yet! Hey, over there! Where is Lechkos? Where is my father? Your? Ah, oh, Professor Dubovsky's daughter. Of course. He did mention you. If I knew, that would have changed things. Hey, mind telling me where your uncle is? Surely he wouldn't leave you here on your own. Where is my father? Your father failed to give me the information we needed. Well, at least I got something out of it. Hey, honey! You bastard! Language, young lady! Proceed. Prepare for attack! I'll steal in one piece! Enough! We don't have time for this. Follow me. We can't win, and we can't outrun them. We're not going anywhere! Courage, men! For Polonia! Polonia! For Polonia! For Polonia! For Polonia! Polonia! For Polonia! For Polonia!
Anna. I always <coughs> wanted to protect you, both of you. You did. Someone must warn Heinrich Steinmetz in Kolna. And you need to run. Be safe. Why did the Colonel call you Professor? And what did you... Anna, we have to go. It's not safe here. Split up the troops. They mustn't catch us all at once. Operation Hope continues. The Polanyan resistance won't let anyone down. Never! Was Papa Professor Dubovsky? Always was. Your father and Heinrich Steinmetz worked for Tesla back in the day when he invented the auto machines. I don't know what Zubov wants from them. We found out that son of a bitch was looking for them, so I sent some men. Obviously, we came too late. Why did nobody tell me? Didn't want anyone to know. They were engineers at the factory before you were born. They ran away to start a new life. Until the war found them. I need to talk to this Heinrich in Kolno. He must know something. That's where we headed as well. Roosevelt troops set up a blockade around the city, and we're going to pay them a visit. If you don't want to run, you can join us. You're a good shot. As soon as I've buried Papa. All right, but don't take too long. War does not wait. Why are we looking at railways instead of going to Kolno? Breaking the blockade is only half the plan. We want to help the citizens too. Bring them supplies. Here, what do you see? Roosevelt soldiers, some of them on patrol. A freight train, oil pumps, iron mines. That train supplies the Roosevelt troops surrounding Kolno, usually. This time we will take it and bring our fellow Polanyans what they need most. Hope. We break into a Roosevelt base and steal their train? The stuff of legends. All right, this is going to be a tough one. The train depot is heavily guarded. We need to train an army. I want a base right here. And I want resources. Lots of them. Let's get to it. New primary of... There it is! Our own beautiful train! Klepatsky, how long to load up and get everything ready? A couple of minutes, sir. Listen up, boys! This station is vital to Roosevelt operations. So expect the enemy to attack with everything they've got. We need to hold out until the train is ready to leave. Then we get the hell out of here. I want a second base right here, and I want fortifications! Go, go, go! Yes, sir! Hey, kid. You did well. You're the best shot I've seen since Yannick. He would be proud. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Let's get the train to Kolno. That's the spirit. Come on! We should have had those defenses up yesterday! New Prime
Hey. Thanks. You saved a lot of lives back there. Doing my best. Do you want to join us? Pavel wants to play his guitar and we need everyone to stop him. <laughs> sure. Anna, a ward. I'll be right there. The boys love their Joan of Arc. <laughs> the girl that leads Polanya to victory. There won't be a victory. Half the country is occupied by Roosevelt. And our fine government thinks talking is going to change that. We can't negotiate with them. We have to take back what is ours. And we can do that? We could, easily. No force can occupy a country when its people do whatever it takes to drive them out. Millions of Polanians rising up. Roosevelt wouldn't stand a chance. I wish more people would see that. They're tired of war. Too many have died. Everyone has lost loved ones. So they'd rather live on their knees? Freedom has a price. We have a dangerous road ahead of us. Don't celebrate too long. And now, Hey, Pivko, kobietki, śpiewajmy w kurs. Saksoński bydlaku, o cały psat nos. I siwo, i butelka, wódeczki, ciach. Rozwiecki sołdacie, a ty gryziesz śpiach. Rockfall, sir. No way through. I'm surprised we even got this far. Kolno is just beyond that ridge. What's the plan? Well, we can't take the direct route, so we need to find a way through the mountains. This is the tunnel we need to reach. Back the train up. Let's switch junctions. New primary objective risk. No way we're getting through that. We need more firepower. Let's get the base set up. Once we have a couple of mechs, we'll smash their defenses. That'd be too risky. We'll all be easy targets on the bridge. Lechkos! Seize this at once! That's Commander Kos to you, Michal. You can be a commander of the Polanian forces or you can sabotage the peace efforts. Not both. Yeah? How's that going? I hear Roosevelt might be willing to leave the blockade in a month or two if we roll over and play dead. You cowards run along now. I have nothing to say to Roosevelt's lapdogs. What did he just say? Outrageous! The terms of the truce were clear. There will be no acts of aggression between Roosevelt, Saxony and Polania. Take your train and leave. No acts of aggression? Like attacking my village and killing dozens? They killed my father! I am very sorry to hear that. But rebels have killed more than plenty of Roosevelt's as well. Rebels that are allegedly hiding in Kolno. You believe those liars? We've never set foot in that city. It doesn't matter. People are starving on the other side of that ridge. People you swore to protect. I know. And I assure you, we are working very hard to... Enough! Out of my way! So it's come to this? You are willing to attack your own countrymen? No, but I will make them sure there still is a country after your kind is done drinking champagne with the enemy. What's it gonna be, Michal? You want to die a traitor to your country? 
You threaten the best chance Polania has for peace, yet deign to call me a traitor? Stop it! The people of Kolno need our help. They need it now. They deserve a chance. We bring them hope. Please. Your train full of potatoes might make it into the city, but there will be Roosevelt forces everywhere. But if you keep your heads down, maybe you can fill some stomachs. Good luck. Third Regiment, with me! I want a base, I want heavy weapons, and I want that bridge stormed! Maybe there's another way, we could... And I want you to keep your mouth shut! I was only trying to... What are you waiting for? Get back to work! New primary objective received. Primary objective complete. We made it! Okay, man, this is it. Let's bring this train full of hope to the good people of Kolno. May the Polanyan resistance live on forever! Heinrich Steinmetz? Anyone? He's a Saxonian scientist or inventor or something. I'm looking for Heinrich Steinmetz. Is he here? Teach them the basics. Firing, reloading, what to do if the thing jams. Or a matter of when, then if, right? Anton? Yes? Guns in the next wagon. They're for your guys. On the double. You got it! What the hell is going on? Not now, Anna. You said the train was filled with food. I said supplies. And more importantly, hope. Stop! You wouldn't understand. Stop what you're doing. We're not arming civilians. That is exactly what we are doing. The Roosevelt soldiers could be on top of us any second. Get to it! <sighs> we were supposed to feed the hungry. You know the saying, give a man a fish and feed him for a day. Today we teach Polanya to take back the whole goddamn fishery. There's no way these people can win against the Roosevelt's. That's the point. They won't. Can't you see? With every week, our people become more used to these bastards being here. Our country, our home, will be lost forever. Unless something drastic happens. The massacre of Kolno. A Polonian city that refused to be defeated. In which patriots took up arms and fought to the last man. Roosevelt's massacring an entire city will break the truce and ignite the spark of resistance. We could drive Roosevelt out entirely as one nation, as one people. We wanted to save them. Be smart, Anna. Roosevelt are responsible for Yannick's death. This is our chance to destroy them. I'm going to stop this. I can't let you go back there and confuse them. The men look up to you. You're an idol to them. But the only thing better than an idol is a martyr. <laughs> Oh, 
Seems you have it handled. Who are you? Steinmetz, my name. Heinrich. I heard you are looking for me. Maybe we should postpone this conversation. This way, young lady. We're too late! Mein Gott, this will be a bloodbath. We have to save the civilians. M maybe we can break through the Ruzvit forces somewhere. We can't, but we don't have to. Schnell, bring as many civilians as you can to my workshop. What are you going to do? Save the people of Kolno. Bring them to me. We'll help you. Don't look like that. Lech has lost his mind. Letting innocent people die can't be the answer, right? Thanks, guys. Let's help as many people as we can. I think that's everyone. Well, everyone we could still help. How is this guy going to get all these people out of here? There's your answer. Hey there! How do you like my little project? The self-inflating lifeboat of the future! will destroy them. What do we do? What are you waiting for? It's the only way out. I'll try to clear the way for them. Anyone who'd rather get on the airship, go now. Stay, stay. I can't land this thing in the city once we've taken off. If we stay, at least they might have a chance. <laughs> Great. Good luck. We'll make sure you get out of here in one piece. What? No! Let's destroy those cannons. If Primary we don't objective destroy those complete. Cannons, all we've done will be for nothing. We have to destroy it. Quickly. If it isn't little Miss Dubovsky. Still playing war with your uncle? This is it, everyone! For Heinrich and everyone on that airship! Hold fire! If Steinmetz is on there, let's fly! On the contrary, thanks to her, I need to chase down that airship. That's the least of your problems. Polania will rise up against Roosevelt. You have a mass revolt on your hands. Hmm, yes, that is a rather good start, isn't it? A few more incidents like this, and we'll be back at war in no time. Thanks for playing along! What are you talking about? They needed us to break the truce. Now Roosevelt can claim they have no choice but to retaliate. Clever girl. Except this was not Roosevelt's doing. They too are hesitant to start another war. Especially now Tsar Nicholas is aware of our existence. A shame he could have been useful. Who's us? Fenris. 
the future rulers of this country. Thanks in part to your uncle. Die, Scar! No! Ah. What did people even see in him? Was it this never give up bullshit? Maybe you should have quit. Then you wouldn't be lying dead in the shit right now. And you should never have meddled with big world affairs, little girl. What the hell is that? It's the... Retreat! I'm sure he would have been happy that you finally came. We're not here because of him. We're here because of you. You are right. We couldn't stand by while innocent people were killed. And this was exactly what Zuboff wanted. We made everything so much worse. He won. Colonel Zuboff and his men entrenched themselves north of here. They know they can't outrun us. We need Zuboff alive. Follow me! Here's the situation. This is Zubov's main base, and this is where we are. They have strong fortifications along the main boulevard here, here, and here. How strong are the base defenses? We can't breach them with what we have now. We'll need to build up our forces. We may also want to scout out these four positions. Our intelligence reports supplies and weapons depots. It's not going to be easy. The main base and these two smaller bases will put a lot of pressure on us. All right, everybody. There's no time to explain, but peace depends on us capturing Colonel Zubov. Fight like there's no tomorrow. There won't be one if we fail. We're ready for your orders. New primary objective received. Zubov, it's over. If you kill me, you gain nothing. Let me live, and I can give you whatever you want. You want a free Polania? I can make that happen. We want information. About Fenris? Nobody would believe you. That's why you're going to reveal everything publicly. <laughs> They'd kill me if I talked. I'll kill you if you don't. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> Anna! <laughs> Colonel what happened? Hurry, help me up. Give me a head start and then we're out of here. You and I have big plans. Trust me. <laughs> to understand, but I have to go. We... we thought you were dead. What... 
What is this? I'll explain it from later. But <laughs> Where have you been? I promise. My men tell me that he is a Roosevelt operative working for Zubov. I'm trying to expose who he really works for. You mean Fenris? You... you know about Fenris? No, no, no. It's your turn. Why are you working for Zubov? What is that suit? How are you even alive? I'm waiting. It was four weeks ago. I was in St. Petersburg for the peace negotiations. I was providing security for a delegation, and the talks were dragging on forever. You damn Polanyan peasants! We need your potatoes to feed Fritz in Helga! No! We need the potatoes for vodka! More vodka! Touch our potatoes and I'll kill you with my bare hands! <laughs> Come on, Uncle Leh. Just one good punch. I've got a bottle of schnapps at stake here. Nothing more fun than politics. Gambling for money or schnapps is illegal in the city. It's only gambling if you don't know the result. My uncle and your guy will come to blows before the summit's over. Wanna bet? You are Lekosa's nephew. Yannick, right? You know who I am. I... noticed you. You shouldn't be lying around on rooftops. Somebody might mistake you for a sniper. Not without a rifle. Your people made sure everyone surrendered their weapons, remember? This is a friendly negotiation. We want to keep it that way. Multiple friendly attackers. Infantry, basic weapons. Insurgents. How did they get into the city? That's what I'm gonna find out. I'm in. You are not. You don't even have a... What? Хорошо. Just stay out of my way. We have a new primary objective. The Tsar's beloved pet, fraternizing with the enemy. Out of my way, Zubov. It was them. The Polanians opened the gates while their delegate assaulted me. Easily earned snaps. What? They couldn't have done this. This is an inside job. I will personally guard the Tsar until my men have repelled the attack. My palace guards have the situation under control. Obviously not. What an asshole. Yeah, unfortunately he has a point. Where is everybody? Here, I'll go to our headquarters. Meet me there, if you still want to help. Um, why don't we go together? Because of this. That was an excellent whistle. Short. No, really, very good, but maybe we should get going? Something is very wrong. We must hurry. What's going on here, soldier? They've barricaded the bridge. There is no getting through. How the hell did this happen? There weren't any guards in the area to stop them. So, what now? There is a safe house right here. I have the tools we need there. White flags? Remote detonators. They might work too. We have a new primary objective. Heads up! Alexei! 
What happened? Where is everyone? <coughs> Stay here! Olga! Damn it! Changa, he's a friend. Holy, that's a tiger. We have to get to the palace and find help on the way. What happened? They're all dead, poisoned. Someone locked Chang up, but somehow she survived. Hey, I'm really sorry. Save it. Let's go to the palace. We have a new primary objective. Group. Still in there. This Padonki won't let up. We'll get him! I'll hold him off. Come on, show me what you've got! Your Majesty, I must report. 98 soldiers and guards lost. Samatov Baryatki? No, I'm not. They poisoned my men like rats. Outrageous! An attack from the inside. Some say security measures were inadequate. They blame you. Scotty! Can you hear me? Victor! He is out! Civil burns on 70% of his body! I sent a cable to Kaiser Friedrich and informed him that Fenris was behind the attack. He wants to continue the negotiations, but Rasputin thinks it is unwise. The biggest threat to our country isn't war, it's revolution. If we remove a common enemy for the people, they might look for a new one. So we wage an unnecessary war to distract people? In that case, it wouldn't be unnecessary, would it? This has to stop. You know what must be done. Blood pressure is low. Grip. More blood! I will release you from your duties. You will no longer have an official position. I should have listened to you in the first place. With Fenris scheming and walking against us, there can't be peace. Maybe not even an empire. I want them exposed and destroyed. Do it quietly. But do it right. Удачи. Already working on it. We won't get another chance like this. Spanners! That's it. Listen. <laughs> I didn't know what they did to me or where I was. There were tubes in my throat and the pain, I... I could feel my skin peeling off under the metal. Easy, soldier. Shit. I was 
wasn't able to get rid of the suit. They somehow fused this to my body. I thought I'd lose my mind. I was in a nightmare. I had to find a way out of it. This one reads emergency shutdown. one of the things that attacked the palace. I've never seen anything like it. here. Set knees, search the area. And you, patrol the forest. Whoever did this might be trying to leave. Yes. I gotta get out of here. This is the way. That's where we tested the suit. Come on. You'll get used to the power. And the red button lets you jump up cliffs. Let's get out of here. Secondary objective com- Молодец! A breakthrough at last! A bunch of lab rats becomes a formidable force when led by one of our new super soldiers. I'm sorry for the confusion you must feel, Victor. I wanted to be there when you woke. But I guess nothing can keep you down, right? Look, Changa, a party. And we weren't invited. And why would I invite a civilian to a military base, hmm? Someone without rank or title? Throw her out. You mean someone with nothing to lose? Now... This is interesting. Some sort of secret project, Zubov. So secret even the Tsar doesn't know. Atstavich. That's no longer your concern. Are you so desperate to get back in his good graces? I'm just wondering what other secrets you have, Zubov. The Tsar will be pleased to learn his loyal engineers created a spectacular surprise for his name day next week. In fact, Let's see just how spectacular. A month on a Black Sea coast for whoever finds a weak spot. Attack! Oh! Action. Excellent. Stop. We've seen what he's capable of, and he will only grow stronger. Get him back to the lab and prepare him to live with me tomorrow morning. And get this bitch out of my sight. Next time she attempts to trespass, shoot her. to your body. 
Advanced technology by Nikola Tesla himself. Tesla? Bullshit! He came out of seclusion a couple of weeks ago. Sent a letter to Tsar Nicholas, Kaiser Friedrich, and as far as we know, every other leader in the world. He warns them of an organization called Fenris. Powerful people who work in the shadows, destabilizing governments and starting wars. They are also responsible for the fake coup in St. Petersburg. And with that, your condition. Sure, whatever. I think our friend Zubov is one of them. But there must be others. He doesn't have the power to do this alone. I need to get out of this thing. I can't get you out of it. Nobody can. It would kill you. I'll go back to Polonia. There must be somebody who can help. Viktor Popov wouldn't try to flee. They'll kill you as soon as they discover you're not him. Better than living like this, isn't it? I didn't swap your bird ass with Victor so you could get yourself killed. You know how many strings I had to pull. Getting you into a program I'm not supposed to know exists. F thanks Fine. If you want to run, so be it. But first... What did you do? <laughs> if I'm right, this will be a very interesting program. How's the reception, soldat? Turn this thing back on! I could be halfway to the front by now! War's over. Saxony and Rusviet agreed to a truce while you were out. That's... that's great! It's Polanya! Forced to accept a Rusviet occupation. Your uncle and many others are not happy about it. They keep fighting. Olga Morozova! Head of security. I'm sorry, ma'am. I have to ask you to leave. Colonel Zubov orders. Not unexpected. Thank you, Sudri. Have a safe night. I'll have to find another way in. Where are you, anyway? Some picturesque valley outside of St. Petersburg. This is where the official celebrations for the peace treaty take place. Ah, champagne and caviar for our brave politicians and generals. Guards, I have to be quiet and stay out of their way. You have some nerve coming here, Zubov. They'd not hesitate to throw you off the cliffs for your failure. I don't know what are you talking about, General Sturm. Your little coup didn't work, and now we are losing control. Perhaps you could do with some more control yourself, General. It's unwise to discuss matters like this in public. Very well. Then we'll discuss it at the hall, in front of the others. If I go down, I'll take you with me, you treacherous bastard. Our first two Fenris members, don't you think? Was that Karl Hasselhoff? There. And he's mine, when the time comes. They meet at the hall. And the generals threaten to throw Zubov off the cliff. I think I know where the meeting takes place. I just have to find a way up there. It's very much my business. If there are so many VIPs up there, then we need extra security before another St. Petersburg happens. I said, it's a private event. Peace off. That's... You stay right where you are. Come go! You won't be doing anything. They are with Fenris. Either I get to the castle without them noticing, or I make sure they don't live to tell anyone. Zubov, how nice of you to honor us with your presence. Tell me, how did the last operation go? It was um, partially successful. <laughs> I could have sworn it wasn't a dead when I was talking to the other day. Господи, 
Well, now we know that Tesla does more than whisper advice in the ears of leaders. He actively interfered with our plan, which was a surprise to all of us. The plan was too complicated from the beginning. Bullet in the head, such as before with that Archduke. Shooting bullets is easy, Brother Remigius. Having others blamed for them requires a lot of work. As soon as the Tsar and the Kaiser have time to focus on what's going on behind their backs, we are screwed. They must go. Gentlemen, we had a setback, but still, our influence is greater than ever before. We've even found a way to finally crack Saxony. Our plan is in motion as we speak. Kaiser Friedrich is a dead man. He just hasn't noticed yet. And when it comes to Roosevelt, the revolutionaries will kill Tsar Nicholas and plunge the country into chaos. Eventually. Until then, we have to keep him busy and force him to resume the war. I'm sure someone with your talents will know how to use the rebels in Polania for that. Of course. All of this is still in jeopardy as long as Tesla is able to interfere with our plans. The man might be insane, but he's also a genius with considerable resources. Agreed. I've worked on solving that problem since the letters first arrived. I have information about a former Tesla collaborator. He may have crucial information on how to overcome Tesla's defenses. Zubov, this is your chance to make up for your failure in St. Petersburg. Find this man and bring him to me. And, Colonel, we won't accept another failure. Did you hear that? If they want to use Polanya for a new war, they must be stopped. We must stop them. Fine. I'm in. Activate my suit and I'll take care of them. We can't walk around and kill generals and the Tsar's advisor. I don't care about consequences. It's not that. Killing these people would slow Fenris down, but you hurt him. There are others. Everywhere. Maybe hundreds. If we really want to stop Fenris, we have to rip it out by the root. Zubov wants his new toy around. That makes you the perfect spy. No, no, no. Gain his trust, become part of Fenris, and then have your revenge. Meanwhile, I will go to Dresden and warn Kaiser Friedrich that he is in danger. Talk to Tsar Nicholas. I'm not sure he would believe me. Grigory Rasputin has a way of gaining the trust of powerful people. We're on our own. It's us against them, my friend. I hated everything about the plan. But she was right. These were powerful people who start wars for personal gain. A system they helped to build would not stop them. But maybe we could. This is close enough. The border is a couple hundred meters ahead. Why exactly are we trying to cross such a heavily defended border? Only on the Saxonian side. Polanians are no longer allowed to station weapons near the border, due to the peace treaty. Great. We are here, and this is the border. Down here is the main Saxonian base. I sent two squads to scout the area. Take some men and meet up with them here and here. Aren't we risking the truce? Is this... official? What if it's not? Would you have a problem with that? I would want to know why we're here. Ha! <laughs> Fair. We're looking for a man in a Saxonian research base in our west of here. A man with invaluable information. For yet. Then why be so careful? I can't imagine a few border patrols are a problem for our force. They are not. But I don't like surprises, and we can't let the whole world know what we're doing. As you said, we wouldn't want to risk the truce. Enough talking. The scouts are some of my best and most loyal men. I'm sure they found a way across. 
I expect greatness from you, my friend. Вперед! Hey! Anybody home? So, Colonel Zubov sent his pet monster. Guess he didn't want to risk real soldiers anymore. Why are you wearing Polanyan uniforms? In case somebody sees us, let them blame those demon rebels. But of course nobody saw us. It's not like we're lumbering monstrosities or anything. Did you find anything? Так точно. There is an impost on the hill here. Seems like it's partly operational. We need to disable the antenna before we begin any major operations. Yeah. And we have the oh-so-powerful monster on our side, too. This monster is going to kick your ass from here to Dresden if you don't shut your trap. That's what I thought. Sorry, друг мой. Didn't want to insult Zubov's pet. Let's knock out this antenna. We have a new primary objective. Bad news. The last message received here was about suspicious Polanian soldiers sneaking around. They were captured. Our also oh undetectable scouts. Where did they take them? They're being held here. A small base on the other side of the border. We'll have to free them before the Saxonians realize who they caught. Right. Why is this taking so damn long? Done yet? I'd say so. Are you out of your mind? Great! Better collect our brothers. Time to kill some Saxonian pigs. After you, Frankenstein. We have a new primary objective. I can help. Господи. Да, да. He's hard to look at. And he fights like a girl. Ah, not any girl I'd want to dance with. But the colonel thinks he's useful. You found what the colonel was after? Да, here. This bridge. It's the only way out of the valley on the Saxonian side. There are some old fortifications there. Houses too. We can hold that position against just about anything. Right. And no one will be able to leave the valley. We'll take the bridge, if that's what the colonel wants. Well, you're right about that. What the colonel wants, the colonel gets. We have a new primary objective. That's it. The bridge is ours. What now? The valley is sealed. You can begin your attack. Отлично! You didn't disappoint. Make sure nobody leaves this village. We can't have any witnesses. Got it. All right, ребята. Let's give them hell! Build fortifications! Get ready to fight! We have a new prize. Well done, Victor. Prepare to move. 30 minutes west of here, we'll camp and wait for sunrise. Turn down the tavern. No survivors. What? They're civilians. Civilian or not, we can't have any witnesses. They didn't do anything wrong. It is about what they might do in the future. Like rat us out to the Saxonians. What are you waiting for? Burn it down and make it look like the Polanian resistance did it. They'd kill you. Bastards. wondering how I can live with killing innocents. It's war. It is part of human nature and will only become more devastating and cruel. And in the end, it will end human life altogether. So we did that family a favor? <laughs> what if you were wrong? And this was the war to end all wars. Tomorrow you'll see what Saxony is working on, Victor. Weapons that could reach St. Petersburg within an hour. Someone in Saxony could press a button, and thousands in Rusviat will die. 
How can anyone sit back and hope no one will ever press it? We need to be the ones with the button. That suit of yours is the weapon we need, but my engineers don't even understand how you are still alive. Tesla's technology, it's like magic. There is nothing he can do. Do you think that he could get me out of the suit? Ha! <laughs> After we force him to explain everything, any of our scientists could do that. Every last one of his secrets will be ours. We will have the power to bring back peace to the world. No one could oppose us. Stick with me, Victor, and I'll make sure you're on the winning side. What the hell are those? This is insane. I told you, Victor, we're not the only ones working on new weapons. And these rockets are just toys compared to what Tesla is capable of. Our target is an engineer called Heinrich Steinmetz. He worked for Tesla before the war. He might know how to enter the factory without being turned to ash. We are here. This is the enemy base, where we'll find our men. And he'll give us the information we need? Well, intelligence says he's not working here voluntarily. And even if he's not thankful for the rescue, we have means to convince him. Let's get him. Внимание! These are not simple bodyguards! These are Saxony's finest! It will be a tough fight! And we need to be prepared! You heard the Colonel! We need a base, we need defenses, and we need resources! Now! We have a new primary objective. Primary objective achieved. Search the base. Bring me the scientists, engineers, and any documents you can find. Saxony won't be happy to find their base raided. They won't. There will be a little rocket fuel incident. We didn't find the engineer, but just as you'd expect, the Saxonians had their paperwork in order. Steinmetz escaped captivity during the war. The Saxonians tracked him all the way to Colmo in Polania, where he remained out of their reach. They also had files on the other previous Tesla collaborators. One of them was in Polania, some professor who's super few. Two solid leads. The report called them the keys to Tesla. Zubov was in a festive mood. That evening, he told me about Fenris. And I joined them. Yannick, what have you done? What I had to. Win Zubov's trust and learn more about Fenris. By killing people? By helping them? Do you think I enjoyed any of it? I want to live in peace without this... any of this. These people need to be stopped, Anna. They're dangerous. I know. Zubo found the professor in Zalesha. He took his mechanical arm, Tesla's arm, I suppose, and killed him. He killed Uncle Lech and tried to kill me. That... Papa? I, I, I swear, I, I didn't know it was him. Does it matter? He could have been anyone's father. He'll pay for this. You've got to stop, Yannick. Stay with us. I can't. Just... not yet. Be safe. Yannick! If I got that right, he's your brother? I, I don't know anymore. What should we do now? Try to find Zubov? We know where he's heading. Tesla's factory. That's where we have to stop him. But first, we have to help the wounded and bury the dead. You had the young lady. Help these good people, then make ready for a trip to the Balkans. What are you doing?
Status? Their ship crash landed in that field over there. Survivors? As far as we can tell, all passengers survived. The Palanians brought them into the castle. Ksersh Castle. We believe Steinmetz is still there. Отлично. How much time do we have before they're moved? Unclear. Can't be long. Shans is well defended. I fought here during the war. Victor! Make way for the hero of Kolnov! We'll need more firepower to break their defenses. There is a large military base right next to the village, and we'll need to make sure Steinmetz can't escape this time. We have to seize and hold choke points here, here, and here. No more failures. I want to be done with it. Soldati! You heard the man! Build a base, secure the choke points, and get us in that castle! Whatever it takes! I wasn't aware Rusviet fought in this part of Polonia during the war. We all have our secrets, Colonel. Come on! Scanning! We have a new primary objective. Search the castle! Sir! Down there! It's diamonds! A secret passage! Stop them! We have a new primary objective. We got him! This is up to heaven. What a pleasure to finally meet you. You're not easy to find. Only for those I don't wish to be found by. Fascinating. Rosviet Sprite. Recognize the tech? Looks like Nicolas Tech cobbled together by a bunch of monkeys. Well, we want to learn. Must be horrible in there. Can you get the suit off of me? I'm sorry, no, this is from after my time. We require access to Tesla's factory and to his inventions. You tried that before, didn't you? In the war of 05, you lost. My friend Piotr Dybowski lost his wife during the fighting, left with his young son and his baby daughter. I heard you found him. Dobowski wasn't very cooperative. Good. You work with him? With Dubovsky? Sure, brilliant man. We all were really. We wanted to change the world and thought the auto machines were everything we needed. No more hunger. No more hard labor. Time for people to study and learn and love. But, well, they used our machines for other purposes. You trusted cavemen with a gun and thought everything would be fine? <laughs> You're not as clever as you all think you are. Now, how can we enter the factory? You'd need a transponder, but I won't give it to you. And even if I did and you were to overcome Nicolas' defense, he would simply activate the Icarus protocol. And that is? The reason I left. Oh, Bryanets. You are going to give me that transponder and show me how to use it, one way or another. Nah, I'm not a huge fan of pain. Besides, we swore to Nicola we'd not be taken alive. Leben Sie wohl. That's the second time you saved me. <coughs> the transponder! Forget it. This journey isn't over, my friend. Not yet. <coughs> This fool didn't know we have this. Get me an engineer team. I want the transponder. And what do I have to do to get a medic? I was in a goddamn explosion!
the city of the future, built in only five years after the auto machines were created. Thousands of workers built them in his factories while Tesla and his engineers came up with new designs. And now, a ghost town. Because one old man didn't want to give his customers what they wanted. They stole his ideas and built their weapons anyway. Imagine the weapons Tesla's genius could have created. He could have won the war in weeks. Kings and Kaisers would have bowed to him. If he's afraid to use that power, then we'll gladly take it. And his city. Where is Tesla? In the inner sanctum, I'm sure. Behind those doors. But here is the problem. You! 20 steps forward! What are you waiting for? These coils all over the city prevent anyone from getting near the gate. Until now, this. Activate the transponder. The transponder from the professor's arm should identify you as an ally. Get in there and destroy the energy sources for the Tesla coil. That's it. This thing's out of juice. Very well. You! 20 steps in that direction. Build a base over here with strong defenses. They'll try to fix the power supply. And if they do, we're done. Victor, you'll have to deactivate one tower after another. As soon as an area is safe, we'll secure it and fight off any counterattacks. Our final target is these doors. They must be destroyed. Behind those doors is everything we've ever dreamed of, Victor. Asshole. Behind those doors is where I'll kill you. Enemy soldiers inside. Yeah! Finally! Let's go! Here is where he created the auto machines. What's going on? Significant enemy forces approaching the city from the north, Colonel. Short. Hold the entrance by any means necessary. And you? Find him. Search this hold in place and bring me Nikola Tesla. Go, go, go! This is it? Так точно. It has to be. It's the last one. I'd be obliged if you'd refrain from further damaging my property. We're hereby confiscating all documents, tools, machines, and other relevant materials on the premises. You won't find many documents of use to you. It's all in here. Just as good. You'll have plenty of opportunity to share your knowledge while experiencing the hospitality of Mother Rusviet. Mother Rusviet? Or Fenris? Can you get me out of this suit? Отставить! Grown-up stalking. Could you? I could. Ah. The only thing worse than an enemy is a traitor. I've been waiting for this for a long time. No! You'll have to wait a little longer. Tear this place apart. Bring me everything. It's over. You lost. We all lost today. What's going on here? What did you do? Zuboff, if you would kindly lower your weapon. What the hell are you doing here, Gunther? Same as always, kicking your ass.
all of this. The biggest military operation since Napoleon's campaign against Ratsviet. Napoleon lost. Are you planning to lose your father's war? Napoleon didn't have any mechs. Neither did he have the greatest tactician since Hannibal at his side. <laughs> his flattery occurs at the academy nowadays. When we are out there, I want you to be careful. Bullets don't care who they hit. Bah, you ought to be in a bunker ten kilometers behind the front. And miss the fun? Victoria wants us to finally retake what is ours. What my ancestors achieved in the West, I will repeat in the East. I'm sure the Peranians and Rusviets will have something to say about that. Also los! Ten minutes until Operation Sonnenaufgang! Listen up! We are all excited! But I want each of you to proceed with vigilance. This is not a race. Just as long as we are the first in St. Petersburg. <laughs> oh. As you all know, we are honored to have Prince Wilhelm grace our ranks. Keep him alive as long as he doesn't interrupt me again. Ooh. <laughs> History will remember this day as the dawn of Saxony's offensive along the Polanian border, spanning hundreds of kilometers. Our objective is to capture this train station. Not the most prestigious target, but an important one to advance the overall war effort. West, on our left flank, Oberst von Trautheim will lead his troops to the north, to our east, Major von Kolpitz will advance, protecting our right. We are anticipating light resistance. Prince Wilhelm, as well as Brunhilde and I, are prepared to crush any fortifications we encounter. War forges boys into men and men into heroes. Make the most of the opportunity you have been given. Vorwärts! Yeah! Forwards! New primary objective received. Sir, reports from other sectors indicate heavy resistance along the entire front. The enemy is pushing into Saxonian territory. Casualties? Estimates are in the tens of thousands. That's insane! Polania has always had the men. They had no way to mobilize them that quickly in the past. The trains and auto machines changed all that. Then uh, we must... Sir, multiple enemy forces approaching our position from the north! Fortify this position and get every weapon system here that we can. We have to secure the choke points in the north. We can't fight them on open ground. Fleeing! Prepare to pursue! No, get back here! We need to regroup! Recover the wounded! I want every injured Saxonian to safety! Go! What the hell just happened? We won! This is what victory will look like in this war! Victory? We have more reserves than they do. We will win. Eventually. We can't keep sending men into this meat grinder. The Max can match ours, Wilhelm. This won't be a quick victory.
This is a disgrace. Our orders clearly forbid celebrating holidays with the enemy again. It's Christmas. The one day everyone can forget this mess. These are the people who have killed over two million Saxonians. And you want me to celebrate with them? Your father thinks it's worth it. How could it be? And it is not my father's war. Not anymore, at least. It's the Reichstag. These politicians and industrialists, lawyers and bankers. The Crown should have the power to send them all to hell and stop this. And tell all these men their suffering was for nothing, it would be the end of the monarchy. How many lives could we save if we kill those bastards right here and now? Duisburg! Herr von Duisburg! Uh, the Kaiser! What about him? Kaiser Friedrich wants to talk to you at his Dresden residence. I have no interest in seeing him. But he's the Kaiser. It's your duty. Not anymore. And he's your friend. Does he need another scapegoat? The messenger says it's urgent and that he won't accept no for an answer. I've already advised him not to repeat that in your presence. Please, your lordship, the Kaiser is besieged from all sides. There are whispers of replacing him or even abolishing the monarchy altogether. He needs the defender of Saxony by his side. Pack my things and have my carriage ready. <laughs> it's already prepared, mein Herr. Not a day, not a godforsaken shithole to inspect. This is where we are needed most. At least that's what Gunther von Duisburg claims. What did you do that he keeps us from the real fight now? Prince Wilhelm, schnell, please! We are under attack. Our base can't hold out much longer. There you go, Parzival. Saxonians in need. Let's go! The very earth when she walks. Prince Wilhelm! It is an honor. You've saved us! I won't allow fellow Saxonians to be slaughtered by these animals. Here, here! This isn't over. Repair the defenses, secure more resources, and prepare for more attacks. We won't back down, whatever the enemy throws at us! Nope. That was the last of them. If only. Where do they all come from? They have a huge fortress up north, my lord. Impenetrable. These artilleries will break our defense sooner or later. And they have at least four more of them. Looks like we have to abandon our defensive position after all. Hauptmann, I'll lead my knights out and destroy these things. You stay back and defend the base. Let's get them! New primary objecting our fortifications. We did it! Their artilleries have been destroyed! It will be a short-lived victory if we don't cut off their supplies. Show me that train station on the map. It's protected within this base, sir. I think we could take it. They've taken heavy losses, and we have the momentum now. But that's against our orders, my lord. Do you prefer to sit another six months and watch a whole generation of Saxonians march to their graves? No, sir. Then let's do something about it! I want that train station. If we can't destroy the fortress, we can at least cut it off from supplies and make them come to us. New primary object. Well done, men. Sir, look at this. What is it? Chlorine gas. 
Enough to cover this whole area in a deadly fog. Those monsters wanted to suffocate us in our own trenches. Well, we don't know that for sure. They would have done it. They have no honor. Let's give these vermin a taste of their own medicine and purge them from the earth. Sir, what are you saying? Follow me. Cross and Oberst. If things go on like this, you'll be giving me orders soon. I serve my people however I can. You think you serve your people by disobeying orders and letting hundreds of Roosevelt's die in agony? The fortress had been under siege for months. The Knights of Saxony succeeded in only hours. The way east is clear now. Poison gas, Wilhelm. Never before have we waged war like this. We've never lost millions of our people either. There are villages in Saxony where you can't find a man between 15 and 35 anymore. Families losing their sons and brothers and fathers. Villages destroyed, cities burning. Have you seen the men in the fortress? Have you seen the look on their faces? It was horrible. But shouldn't every means be justified, even our duty? As long as it alleviates the suffering of the Saxonian people? Problem is, this is exactly what some Rosviet commander in his trench thinks too. Now you have given him license to make everything in the war far worse. It has to be done now! They could be everywhere! Dissolve the Reichstag! Dismiss your advisors and bring the press under your control! You need absolute power That's to- That's all for now, Ken. So we're having chats with crazy old men now, instead of saving the Reich? That is all! Old friend, good to see you. Have a seat. Olga Morozova, confidant of my cousin, Tsar Nicholas. It's an honor to meet the great Gunther von Duisburg. Why am I here? Scheming politicians talk of abolishing the monarchy. Impertinent industrialists threaten to stop funding the crown. And you, <laughs> you ask why you are here? I can't hold back the tide. What if you could? A few months ago, myself, Tsar Nicholas, and other leaders received information about a secret organization. Men who have promoted the war, prolonged it, used it to gain power. The information came from Nikola Tesla. He has been collecting intel about this organization for years. They call themselves Fenris. The accusations were as outrageous as they were credible. Tsar Nicholas and I have agreed to a ceasefire through secret channels in an effort to expose Fenris members in our governments. That's why you're here. I need someone I can trust. You publicly called me a liar to save your son. There are elements in Dresden. I suspect even among my ministers, who work against me and the ceasefire. A liar! The people are unhappy. Our propaganda convinced them we were on the verge of victory. They do not understand why we've embraced our Rusviet brothers. We think Fenris wants to use that to their advantage. According to Olga, they are working to reignite the war. No shadowy organization made Sars and Kaiser start this war. It was their own stupidity. Their dream of power and glory. Hubris. Enough. 
And now you're looking for any other possible explanation. Because your failure is so colossal that no man could admit it without going mad. You are out of line! I can assure you Fenris is real. I have observed the meeting of Fenris leaders with my own eyes. Of course you have. Espionage and uh, manipulation are not my battlefields, Fräulein. I am a soldier, have been all my life. Unfortunately, there is nothing left worth fighting for. Do I have to order you to help me? Try it. This is our target, a village of immense strategic importance north of us. Capturing it will finally break the enemy's back in this region. <clears throat> Unless something changed since this morning, I am the commanding officer here. This is my operation. Without my knights and I, your men would still be in a stalemate a hundred kilometers west of here. And you have been promoted for your bravery, but you are not my superior. Headquarters identified this village as having crucial strategic importance. There are strong enemy fortifications on the west side of the river. That's why the Knights of Saxony will advance on the east side and take the village before noon. We have to clear the western shores. There are two bases, here and here. As soon as we destroy them, this strongly fortified line becomes our main objective. Sure, do that. We'll take the village in the meantime. It's unwise to push too far without backup. You could be surrounded by the enemy on three sides. Hello? Wilhelm? Hm. Let's get to work. We've reached the outskirts of the village. What about you, Commander? We will build a staging base, then attack the enemy's fortifications. We're hardly facing any resistance. It would be easy to take the village before they know what's going on. Negative. We'll attack them simultaneously from both flanks, allowing us an escape route in case something goes wrong. Attacking now could save lives. Why give them time to prepare? Wait until we get there, that's all. Fine. Let's build a base to attack from, and prepare enough firepower to breach their defenses. New primary objective received. Primary objective complete. Well done. Let's secure the area and press forward to the village. What's that? Gefighter Pilnitz here! We're under attack! Enemy forces approaching from the northeast and south! It's an ambush! We need reinforcements! We'll be there as soon as we can. Stand your ground, from Duisburg, out. Everybody, they are coming for us as well, and we can't help anybody if we're that. We'll endure the storm here and then push forward. Dig in here and bring up as much firepower as possible. You I think we're going to- We can win! Retreat! No, they'll kill us. We surrender! Uh, They're surrendering. Disarm them. Hand the hoch! Paul, we did it! Paul? <laughs> medic! We need a medic! Sir, I have the numbers you asked for. <clears throat> 248 wounded. 612 of our men didn't make it. <laughs> it is all worth it, isn't it? Für Kaiser. Und Vaterland! What the hell is going on? Who do you 
you think you are, old man? He's the prince! Ah! You are lucky you are my best friend's son. Or I would have you caught, Marshal, and shot. Ah! Oh! I see you still enjoy a quiet night walk. It's the only time I'm on my own, old friend. You were right. I wanted that war. Just like everybody else, including me. It was bound to happen. We just didn't realize what war would mean in this day and age. I had to sacrifice you. Wilhelm is the heir to the throne. The scandal could have been the end of the monarchy. Giving him the crown could be the end of the monarchy as well. He is unstable. War makes savages out of otherwise decent people. I want to end it, Gunther, but I want to do it right. I beg you, investigate the Fenris situation. It is real. The Rusviet spy, Olga, said Fenris wants to find a way to get into Tesla's factory. Whoever has his weapons is no longer interested in peace. I fought in all your wars, old friend, but I am an axe and you need a dagger. You are an honest man. And you are my oldest friend. Maybe my only friend. Do it for me. Do it for all time's sake. For the Reich. I don't care. But please don't let me fight alone. Uh, all right, then. Politically, I'm weak. I don't know how much longer I can defend this peace treaty. I need all the ammunition you can give me. Together, we'll reveal these people and their- ah! Somebody has to make the hard decision, right? He couldn't. It's about sex and his soul. He would have lost the battle. How oh. could you? Me? Mm. It was you. Crazy old man. <laughs> Help! Murder! My father! Help! <sighs> I always knew there's something wrong with him. They say he shot unarmed prisoners. Gone mad during the war. But killing Kaiser Friedrich in cold blood? They say they were friends from the academy or something. Yeah, von Duisburg killed his best friend of 50 years. Bastard. There is a friend living east of here. I need to get to his house. Tag, Nacht. I don't want to fight if I don't have to. Too much attention. You two are my eyes and ears. I'll be damned if this is the end of me. New. Nope. Shut up and get moving. That's no way to speak to me. I'm a veteran. You're in cahoots with a traitor. That's what you are. Move. Miller. Von Duisburg is a good man. I know what happened to those prisoners. I was there. You good man just shot the Kaiser. Now, move it! You wouldn't believe those lies for a second if you knew him. Wake up! You're being used, it's... Ulrich! Dead! Anyone else feel like being brave? Bastards. You! Soldier! Scheiße! Are you out of your mind? It's him! Fire! Trees are built. Ulrich! Are you alright? 
Commander von Duisburg, Gefreiter Schulze, our neighbor. He served with you and my father. He warned us. They got the order to round up everybody they expect to be loyal to you. Schulze fled. He warned many of us, but it was too late. Martin, Gefreiter Schulze, said they arrested the Schmitz and the Hubers. You have to help them, Commander von Duisburg. You and your mother cross the border and hide until we can join you. You, Müller, gather as many people as you can. Try to arm yourselves and then wait for me on the other side of the river. Subefi. No, Hans. Come, Mama. The commander will take care of them. Won't you? I do what I can. New secondary objective received. There it is. Karl! Karl! Can I help you? Oh shit! You are Gunther von Duisburg! Oh, um, uh, Fräulein? Frieda Rüte, what do you want from my father? I need to talk to him. He has something from me I need back. Brunhilde? That's not possible. I'm working on her. You are what? She's a great mech, but she's old, without maintenance. You are an engineer? I am. Not officially, of course, but I learned from the best. Listen, I need Brunhilde now. There are people after me, and it might get ugly. They might be after your father as well. Please let him know. Dad wouldn't forgive me if I didn't help you. You were the only one who stood by him after all that stuff. He loved you for that. I couldn't look Carl in the eye if anything happened to his daughter. My father died three months ago, and I'm coming with you. Wait here. He? What happened? So, what's the plan? You stop right there, Fräulein. We've got company. Primary objective complete. Group of enemies, right there. How can I help? How did you learn to do that? Every girl needs a hobby. Brunhilde is mine. I improved her quite a bit. I like when things stay just the way they are. No, you'll love it. I'll try to get more systems up and running as we go. There is no we. I just killed Imperial soldiers. Do you think they won't come after me? By the way, why did we kill these men? That's a long story. You didn't kill Prince Wilhelm or something, did you? My father told me about your... disagreements. Hmm. So, you want me to go first? No, I'll go first. We need to cross the river before they shut everything down. I'll scout the area, you stay back. And please, try not to kill me. We'll see how things go. to my Mac. May I remind you, she was thrown back into action in the middle of an upgrade? Without warning? After she was lovingly repaired? And maintained by a talented specialist for months? What happened to my Mac? I need some time to get her moving again. We don't have time. And I need oil. And we don't have oil. I'll let you know when I've fixed her up. Get me the oil, will ya? Hmm. New pro Thanks. That was close. Are you all right? Yes. It's just... Well, they really shook me up in here. Most people don't know what it's like when all that's between you and certain deaths is a few centimeters of iron. Guess not. Is that what happened to that? They call it shell shock these days. He was one of the first, unfortunately. He wasn't a coward, you know. He was a good man who couldn't stand it anymore, no matter what anyone says. Sure, it shouldn't take long. Do you have the oil? That's it! You really are Carl's daughter! That's not all. The mortar's back online, and I added some improvements. 
I should be able to do basic repairs from inside Brunhilde now. Impressive. Let's show them what Saxonian engineering can do. I'm all for it. Let's get out of here. Primary up. The worst is behind us. The bridge is at the end of the road. Fighting with Brunhilde, side by side with Gunther von Duisburg. Papa wouldn't believe it. Frieda, I should have known about his death. I... I haven't cared much about anyone lately. I don't think you could have done anything. I couldn't. He couldn't stand people mocking him any longer, you know? They imitated his trembling whenever they saw him. They called him a coward, a disgrace to the Vaterland. Oh, Frieda. I told him to never listen to those bastards. I certainly didn't. I'm so sorry. I wish I had... Shut up. What is that? Max, lots of them. Preparing weapons. No, run. Primary objective complete. All right, we need to... What happened? Go, go! Let's find the others! I know there are more of us. You could raise an army. We could move around Wilhelm's forces and conquer Dresden. Like Caesar conquered Rome. I saw his army. We can't fight them with stones and good intentions. We need more heavy weapons and mechs. What is your opinion, Fräulein? You should find better guards. Target Nacht knew you were there. Have a seat. I guess we have to thank you for the bridge. Fighting Prince Wilhelm in Dresden would reduce the city to rubble. And you may have fewer friends than you think. Tell me. Their misinformation campaign began. They are distributing leaflets depicting you as a murderer and all who help you as insurgents. They took over the newspapers. In a few hours, Saxony will read that Wilhelm is a rightful ruler and beset by enemies from within. He'll ask his countrymen to help him defend Saxony in this time of crisis. And many will believe him. When the sun sets, they will have arrested members of parliament, judges, officers, unionists, anybody who might have the power to stop them. It's going to be a dark day in Saxony's history. In the world's history. And the good chief of Saxony stay silent and pull their hats in, like they always do. Not all of them. There are those who will not be bent. Those who don't lose their humanity because it's the easy way. It's these people we have to put our hope in. It's not enough. We can't just sit here and count on others. At this point, marching into Saxony with an army strengthens Wilhelm's narrative of a country under attack. This is not the time for armies and battles. This is the time to work in the shadows and win the hearts and minds of people. I like that. We have the truth on our side. They can't maintain their lives forever. It will get worse before it gets better. It is hard to destabilize a big country with a functioning political system, a free press and independent courts. But all of that will be gone very soon. Wilhelm wants to defend his country from Fenris, but instead he presents it on a silver platter. There are over 2,000 people under my protection. If we can't go back, what am I supposed to do with them? We need a safe haven for these people, and everybody else who is in danger. Nobody will take us. They fear Saxony, and they have their own problems. No, there is such a place. Tesla's factory. He fights against Fenris. He has the power to fend off anyone stupid enough to enter his city. And in its heyday, Tens of thousands of people lived there. It's going to be a long walk. 
But it might be our only option. And Wilhelm's army? They'll catch up with us within a day or two. I taught him everything he knows about tactics. But not everything I know. This spot is the best we can hope for. For what? The Prince's forces will have to funnel through here. Correct. We can attack them from above, and the narrow paths directly up the slope are too small for their larger backs. I want fortifications all over the valley. We hold them off as long as we can for the caravan to get away. Then we retreat. Let them pay dearly for every meter. They will need ten men to match every one of ours, but resources are sparse up here. So, we're still going to die after all? We would anywhere else. Here we have a fighting chance. Let's give them a warm welcome. New- Here they come. Idiot, it's only the Vanguard. They want the glory of defeating us for themselves. That's... that's the Vanguard? Well, a part of it. Take courage, every bow that stands between every man, woman, and child in our caravan, and destruction. That's it! We're not out of the woods yet. They won't let us walk out of here that easily. We could salvage the wrecks for resources. Do it. We need more men and stronger fortifications. New primary objective received. That was close. Do whatever we can to reinforce our positions and ready the troops for more. They throw everything they've got at us this time. New primary objective received. This is Prince Wilhelm of Saxony. Enough Saxonian blood has been shed today. Lay down your weapons and surrender. So you can murder us like your father? believes your lies von Duisburg. You and your ilk want to divide and weaken us to the benefit of our enemies. But that's all over. I will purge Saxony of traitors and restore law and order. Your law? The law of the despot holding a knife to the neck of any Saxonian who descends? You all heard it! I wanted to end this without any more bloodshed, but he's too stubborn, too ruthless. What does a Saxonian life matter to the Kaiser killer? Finish them! What was that all about? Propaganda. He needs us to be the bad guys. Let's make sure we live to tell the truth. We... we made it? They're retreating! He'll be furious. He'll be even more ruthless to his enemies now, real or imagined. At least he'll go after Fenris too. An insane dictator in the heart of Europe is not better. One more reason to get to Tesla as fast as possible. Yeah, take care of the wounded and let's go. I'm sure there is room on the Mac for one more old man. If I find an old man, I'll be sure to tell him. We're almost there. Tesla's factory is somewhere just beyond those hills. We've bet a good many lives on the hospitality of a hermit, known for roasting intruders. Tesla got the Fenris rock rolling. He can't intend to fight them alone. Let's hope he doesn't. What are you waiting for, Fräulein?
Zubov must already be in the compound. Then let's go! What are we waiting for? Wait. <laughs> Günther von Duisburg. How unexpected. What's your business with us, Commander? They call you the Kaiser Killer. If that's true, then we're not on the same side. You're fighting Lev Zubov, a Roosevelt colonel who secretly works for an organization called Fenris, right? They are responsible for what happened in Polania, for attacking the Tsar in St. Petersburg, and most recently, for the murder of Kaiser Friedrich. We've let these people out of Saxony, and we are here to stop Fenris. Whatever it takes. It looks like you need some help. Our men are tired, but this is no time to rest. If this battle is lost, then there's nothing to stop them. I fought against your troops at the Battle of Stargard. I'm not looking for forgiveness, just offering help to prevent the next war. And I'll take it. What's the situation? This is the location. Here is the gate to Tesla's factory. Zubov has established a base to defend it here. Taking it out is our main priority. Understood. What are these? Two smaller bases. We've had to repel their attacks constantly. How long has Zubov been in the factory? Too long. Anakos, one of our irregulars, tried to assassinate him when we couldn't break in. Unfortunately, she was caught. We think she's being held here. All right. We will set up here and take some pressure off you as soon as possible. We are not in this fight alone any longer. Harry, we don't know what they are doing in there. Set up an operation space, establish defenses, and find whatever resources you can. New primary objective received. Anna. Are you alright? Yes, thanks to... them? Allow me to introduce Günther von Duisburg. And, um... Olga Morozova. I am friends with your brother. Why are you fighting on our side? The question should be, why not earlier? We have a common enemy, Zupov, and we must put a stop to whatever he's doing in there. That's music to my ears. What are you waiting for? complete finally we made it well done I didn't think we'd make it thank you no one could have survived that alone let's get Zubov is Yannick still with him yes and hopefully what the let's get going whatever Zubov is doing in there can't be good Herr Commandant it is my duty to inform you! Enemy forces approaching! That! Cover our backs! We'll stop Zubov! Lead the way! It's over! You lost! We all lost today! What's going on here? What did you do? Colonel Zubov, if you would kindly lower your weapon... What the hell are you doing here, Gunther? Same as always, kicking your ass! I wish you had come before this fool tried to take the factory by force. He activated the Icarus protocol. Icarus? We've flown too close to the sun. Now, we will all burn! Amazing! 
that thing. I can't! It's unmanned! Can't be controlled or deactivated! It gathers electric energy on an unimaginable scale and releases it in a single giant blast! Anything metal within 20 kilometers will melt! This area will be plunged back into the Stone Age! There must be tens of thousands of people in a 20 kilometer radius from here! As I said, I wish he wouldn't have tried to take the factory by force! We have to stop it! You can't win, but we can try! Amen! Follow me! For glory! Take that thing down! Need some help? What the? Looks like our Roosevelt friends didn't like seeing their commander leave them to die. We're all of the opinion that there are bigger problems. That thing is bad news no matter where you're from. Take care of your other Max. We'll deal with Icarus. We stopped Icarus. We can stop them. <laughs> You're delusional. You can't stop an organization that plays to people's lowest instincts. Do you not think there are thousands of people out there willing to trade their morals for a little bit of power? Do you think reason and knowledge can win against prejudice and fear? This is their century! I've tried to stop them. I had the ears of emperors, and yet, I failed. It's not emperors who will defeat Fenris. It's us. You're right. I am Olga Morozova, an intelligence officer of Tsar Nicholas. This is Anna. Hero of the Polanian resistance. Over there stands Gunther von Duisburg, the legendary Saxonian tactician. You'll notice that we are not trying to kill each other. In fact, today we fought side by side against a common enemy. Wicked people who work in secret. Who will stop at nothing to gain power. They call themselves Fenris, and there is no end to their ambition. Olga is right. Distrust, revenge, fear, these are their weapons. But they are ineffective if we trust instead of fear. Forgive instead of avenge. Build instead of destroy. We have more in common than what separates us. And there are good and bad people on every side. All we have to do is find the good ones. It is said that all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. I believe all of you to be good men. And, uh, women. Damn right! I don't know about all of you, but I'm done doing nothing. Who is with us? Yes! One day, I'll ask you to free me from this suit, but for now, I still need it. Will you join us? You're all dreamers. 
I like that. Dreamers move the world. Can any of you weld? Uh, uh, me. We need the defenses up and running within a day. And we need housing for all these people. 